Welcome to another New Cash Quick Start tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and in today's tutorial I will show you how to enter Splint transactions into New Cash. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful please show your support by subscribing to the channel and giving a thumbs up. Let's begin. So far in the previous tutorial we learned how to enter a simple transaction. What made it a simple transaction is the fact that it only consisted of two accounts in the chart of accounts. The checking account and the equity opening balance account. In accounting, a split transaction refers to a single financial transaction that involves multiple categories or accounts in the chart of accounts. So when we talk about entering split transactions into New Cash, we are simply talking about the fact that New Cash provides the necessary tool needed to enter split transactions into New Cash. Transactions that involve multiple accounts, meaning three or more accounts in the chart of accounts. It's entirely up to you to determine how you want to split up a single transaction. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use the split tool to split up a lump sum expense transaction. For example, let's say a business owner has a receipt for a single payment he makes to a supplier, which consists of both an office expense and a shipping expense. By using New Cash's split transaction tool, the business owner can allocate the payment to both the office supplies expense account and the shipping expense account, providing a clear breakdown of how the lump sum payment was used. Okay, let's see how that would work. Here I have a receipt from Max Office Supplies for $70. I will begin by opening up the checking account register. In the date field, enter the date of the transaction if it's different from the default date displayed. In the num field, enter a transaction number if it applies. In the description field, I will enter the payee. In this example, Max Office Supplies. Use the tab key on your keyboard to tab across the row to the withdrawal field and enter the full amount of the transaction. In this example, the full amount is $70. Now to activate the split, we have to select split on the toolbar. The system will automatically insert two additional rows. On the first additional row, the system automatically enters the word checking account in the account field. And the full amount of the transaction, $70, has been automatically entered in the withdrawal field. And in the last row, an additional $70 was automatically entered in the deposit field. From this point on, it's very important that we continue to use the tab key to tab across the road. Using the enter key at this point can throw the transaction off and you will have to start over. Tap across the fields until the cursor lands on the third row of the transaction. You can tell when you're on the third row because the row will be highlighted. This is where you will begin entering descriptive information about the transaction. If you look at the top of the title bar in each column, you will notice the titles have changed. In the action field, here you can enter a descriptive word to describe the transaction, or you can click inside the action field text box until the drop down arrow appears. Then click on the drop down arrow to see the options you have available to describe this transaction. Since the action field is optional, you can simply leave it blank if you choose to do so. In the memo field, here is where I will enter the first item I purchased, 
three cartons of copy paper. This way, I will have a little more detailed information about this transaction. Next, using the tab key, tab over to the account field. Here you will select from the chart of accounts the account that applies to this transaction. Here is where I will assign this transaction to the office supplies account. In the previous video, entering a simple transaction, I mentioned how you could enter the first letter of the account category you're searching for and then the first few letters of the account name. Another method you can try is instead of entering the first letter of the category, just enter the first few letters of the account name. Here I'll enter OFF and here it is. All I have to do is just click on it and it's automatically entered. Next I will tab to the deposit field. Here the full amount of the transaction was automatically entered in the deposit field when the split was activated. You have to change it to reflect the actual dollar amount of the transaction you're entering. Since my copy paper costs $45, I will enter $45. To add an additional row, use the tab key to tab to the end of the row and an additional row will be automatically added. Here is where I will enter the last item on the receipt, shipping envelopes. And then I will use the tab key to tab to the account field and select the expense account postage and delivery. In the deposit field, the $25 balance was automatically applied since that is the balance left over from the $70 since I already applied the $45 to the copy paper. Therefore there's no need for me to change anything here. To finish up, select enter on the toolbar to record the changes and save to save the changes. The split transaction is complete which is confirmed by the fact that the word split transaction is displayed instead of the details of the transaction. Now you will notice you will not be able to view the full details of the split transaction and that's because you are in the basic ledger view. To view the details of a split transaction you have to select view on the menu bar and then when the menu opens select the auto split ledger view by clicking on the circle icon next to auto split ledger. Now you should be able to see the full details of the split transaction. To return to the basic ledger view, select view again and this time when the menu opens click on the icon next to basic ledger to return to the basic ledger view. Now when I close out and return to the account screen, I can see the deductions in the corresponding accounts. Office supplies and postage and delivery. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode.